Welcome to Swami's classroom. Today we'll discuss about engineering economics part two. Engineering economics has three categories. One is cash flow and equivalence, other one depreciation, then alternatives. These topics are important for fundamentals of engineering exam. In the video part one, we discussed about the cash flow and equivalence. So if you didn't watch that, go back and watch part one to learn about cash flow and equivalence. In this video, you'll see depreciation and alternatives. Depreciation, what is depreciation? You're reducing the value of a property or equipment for income tax purpose. There are two methods in that. One is a straight line method, other one is Macker's method. Macker's method is a modified accelerated cost recovery system. That's expansion of this acronym. So this method is recommended by the IRS, Internal Revenue Service, for income tax purpose. We'll see the straight line method, depreciation D, given by C minus S sub N divided by N. C is initial cost, S sub N is salvage value in N years, N is the service life. Example, let's say machine cost is 50,000, salvage value 10,000 in 10 years. How to find the depreciation? Calculate D, equal to initial cost, minus salvage value, divided by number of years, you get $4,000 per year. It's a constant amount of depreciation every year. Suppose you want to find the book value at the end of the five years. Use this formula, V sub N equal to C minus N D. You know C, N equal to five, because you want to know at end of the five years, D is 4,000, we just calculated. Substitute, you get 30,000. That's your book value in five years. Let us calculate the same book value by Macker's method. For to apply the Macker's method, we need to have this table. This table is given in the uh, handbook, in, given in the handbook of the Fundamentals of Engineering exam. So you will have this table. So here, three, five, seven, ten represents number of years in the entire value of the property will be recovered. So that means depreciated over that many, three years or five years, seven years or 10 years. The formula Vn equals C times one minus sum of fk, k equal to one to n. The fk are the values given in each column. So they are given in percentage, when you apply, you need to use that in decimal form. So in five years, assuming 10 year recovery period, you can calculate V5 equal to C 50,000 times one minus f1, f2, f3, f4, f5, express in decimal form, Apply that, you calculate 18,450. We can also find amortization. In amortization, let us say $10,000 you are to amortize over three years. What is amortization? Depreciate such that it reduced to zero book value. So here, example, one, two, three, four, FN for three year recovery period. Use these numbers in the column. Then the column Dn can be computed from Dn equal to C times Fn. If C equal to 50, sorry, C equal to 10,000. So 10,000 times each value, that gives a Dn. Then to find Vn, you use this formula, Vn equal to Vn minus 1 minus Dn. Now for, for example, V1, V1 equal to V0 minus D1. What is V0? V0 is C, use that. So accordingly, you can calculate the column Vn. Now you can see that at the end of the fourth year, reduced to zero. So the n recovery period will be reduced to zero for n plus one year. Alternatives. What is alternatives? If you have more than one choice, how to choose the best one? So we have different comparison methods to choose a better alternative. One is the ANEV, which stands for annual net equivalent value comparison. That means whatever be the given value, you have to convert them into equal and A value. So model one and two, there are two different model machines. In the example, the price is given, annual maintenance, salvage, and life. The price is your present value, annual maintenance is your A value, salvage is your future value, life is your N number of years. So given a parameter, let us say T, present value, how to find A? 
a equal to a over p n number of years at i percent interest rate multiplied by p like a by p times p p cancel you get a so you get this ratio from the table factor table again you can find that in your handbook now for example model one a and ev1 equal to minus a over p because p is good you have to find equal to a so a over p 10 years 10 percent times p minus a so straight away you can use that to convert the f to a a over f times f now you can go to the table pick these values factor times 11,000 minus 1,000 plus this factor from the table times 1,000 you get minus 27, 27. Similarly for model 2 you can calculate A and EV2 but here the number of years is 5 the rest of it the p value different so you find A over p for n equal to 5 from the same table i equal to 10 percent then the ratio times p is 4000 for model 2 and a is minus 15000 f value is 0 so you calculate minus 2555 now a and ev2 is less than a and ev1 that means model 2 is better so you compare the two values of a and ev whatever the lower value that model will be the better choice the next comparison is the rate of return comparison what is the rate of return so you compare with the interest with a given minimum acceptable rate of return. So MARR stands for minimum acceptable rate of return, which is given in the problem. Let us say cost of alternative 1 equal to C1, cost of alternative 2 equal to C2. And let's say C2 is greater than C1. Then rate of return given by 2C1 minus C2 divided by C2 minus C1. So if this rate of return, calculated one, greater than minimum acceptable rate of return, which is given, then choose alternative 2. If it is less than MARR, choose alternative 1. Let us see an example here. Say so MARR given by 12% in the problem. If C1 equal to 50, C2 equal to 80, then you can use that formula, find rate of return 2 third, which is 67%, which is greater than the 12%, which is M A or R. So choose alternative 2. If C1 equal to 50, C2 equal to 95, then you can calculate ROR 1 over 9, which is 11%, so less than 12%, so choose alternative 1. So suppose we, we made this assumption C2 greater than C1. Suppose C1 greater than C2, simply change it. The higher value is C2, lower value is C1 then it will work out same way. Just switch them. Another comparison, benefit cost comparison. So B by C given by uniform net annual benefit by annual equivalent cost. In other words, annual benefit by annual cost. So if B by C greater than one, obviously it's more benefit than the cost, so better choice. For example, let us say you are resurfacing the road that costs $200,000. By doing that, you save and repair cost $100,000 per year for five years. If the minimum acceptable rate of return 10% or interest rate 10%, whether to resurface or not. So what is the best choice? So let us do benefit cost comparison. So annual benefit, that means how much you save is $100,000 per year, right? saving and repair. Now what is the annual cost? You are given $200,000 initial cost for over five years, what will be the initial cost? What will be the annual cost? So you have to convert that into A. So A equal to A over P times P. P is your present value, you are converting into A value. Using the same table, find the ratio, multiply by 200,000, you get 52,760. Now calculate the B by C, B is 100,000. C, we just calculated 52,760, which is equal to 1.9, it's greater than 1. So, resurfacing is a better choice, right? Because B by C is greater than 1. Suppose we get less than 1, then resurfacing is not a good choice. So, this completes our lecture. Happy learning!